Kijk, hij staat, uh, hij staat aan hier. Uh, deels in ieder geval. Ik moet even zorgen dat ik... Uh, het geluid. Ja, het geluid staat ook aan. En komt even weer kijken. op YouTube of die echt live is. Ja, we gaan alles even checken. Good morning. Ja hoor, we zijn live jongens. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Um, well, welcome to another live stream. This time, uh, the door is still open, I'll fix that later. Um, oh, sorry, I'll fix it. Yeah. Good morning. Australia. Well, yeah. Aus Austria. Austria. Or Australia. I I'm not sure. What do you think? <laughs> Australia. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Um, Österreich. Austria, Groningen, no, good morning. Oh, Maurice. Well, we're. Um, this time, bookshelf loudspeakers, 2500 euro per pair. And I think that's the price class where you get some serious quality for a reasonable amount of money. Uh, yeah. There's also a lot of choice, I uh, noticed. Well, how many do, did we receive, actually? <laughs> way too much uh, I think around 13 pairs yeah. so we decided to cut it uh, into a couple of episodes yes <laughs> we can't test 13 pairs of loudspeakers no. at once no uh, I'll be deaf uh, so we'll do five today four or five depends on the time uh, I uh, already burned in all loudspeakers and we plan for four pairs. If we have some spare time, we can do five uh, as a bonus. Uh, they're already in the back, so th it's it's not a lot of extra work. But it mainly depends on how fast we can uh, swap the loudspeakers because that will be a little bit different this time. I mean, swapping out streamers or DACs is easy. Swapping out loudspeakers is a lot more work uh, because we have to align it on the microphone, uh, make sure you have good sound, uh, make sure they're equally towed in and stuff like that. So uh, it will take a couple of minutes yep. at least to swap them out. So bear with us uh, during those moments. So no blind test. No, no, that's because quite that's impossible. <laughs> well, it can be done. To then, manage we have, then we have to be blindfolded yes. all yes. the time. Yeah. But to manage expectations that we, we won't do that with these speakers? No. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, you can do it at home, of course. Just Yeah, you, you can do it. It's, uh, it is possible, of course. I have to do one more thing in order to be able to... Yeah, okay. Uh, cam mics are off now. Um, well, all are 20 well around 2500 euros let, let me ex explain a couple of things because there are a couple of things that are important i measured all loudspeakers before this test uh, at least the speakers we have in house there are a couple of more in the hallway as you could see uh, so those will be tested next time uh, at least a couple of them uh, i'm not going to share the measurements with you no so you don't know the frequency response impedance response and stuff like that i will try to explain them to you uh, on screen so you can see the measurements during uh, uh, this test and we test all measure uh, and we share all measurements in the written review of course I don't think with loudspeakers that frequency response is really important because that's mostly a matter of taste and matching with your amplifier so a flat measuring loudspeaker is not the best loudspeaker that's really important to keep in mind. It is matching with your room, with your am amplifier and your own ears. What music do you like? What do you like to be emphasized? What do you like to be... Well, you know, it, it's like pepper and salt on your food. Some people like it, some people don't. That's with loudspeakers, it's the same. But uh, distortion, on the other hand, mm -hmm. is important. And... Um, from a technical perspective, I think impedance response is important to match it with your amplifier. I mean, a tube amplifier doesn't like a lot of differences in, in impedance, especially in the mid-highs. If it's high, you will get coloring with a tube amp, but not with a transistor amp per se. So that's more like matching. You can match a loudspeaker with your amplifier if you know some technical mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. stuff from it. Would you say that... Um 
there's more variety in loudspeaker uh, characteristics than in amplifier characteristics. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if you really want to uh, to to uh, make it according to your tastes, yeah, uh, then important. your loudspeaker choice is the most Abs decisive. Absolutely, it has to fit your room. It's really important that your loudspeaker fits the room. Uh, I notice a lot of differences in loudspeakers. <laughs> yes, they're very different. And the, the funny thing is, some are both flat and still sound really different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the Distortion figures are really different, uh, and we noticed that with the last uh, loudspeaker test as well. Yoon, uh, oh, yeah, yes, uh, yes, with, with the thousand euro, mm -hmm. euro, the thousand euro price class, mm -hmm. the third harmonic is really dominant in some speakers, and they sound fresh and a little bit hard. And if the second harmonic is um, uh, dominant, then it sounds really different. So, but it's. Um, I'll explain it in the written review because we I can talk for hours about yeah. it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's really interesting. Mm. Um, the first pair we have in front of us is the Amphion Argon 3S. And let me see, because I don't know all the specs um, by heart. Let me see, it's a two-way passive uh, loudspeaker. They're all passive, of course, because we'll match them with the pass Labs and the Neelai, by the way. Yeah, uh, so we have two amplifiers yeah. to listen to. Yeah, because the matching with the amplifier is really important, and mm -hmm. the pass Labs is mostly Class A. Um, it's a really clean amp, but the Neelai is even cleaner. It's Class D, it's the latest generation. Uh, we tested it in the previous test, Yes. and we all liked it. It made a huge impression, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Um, so, Class D and Class A. Well, uh, just to know about, yeah, you know, can it be matched with the Class D amp? They all like the pass, I think. Uh, this is a price class where it will work out. In the 1,000 euro amp class, it, uh, sorry, the 1,000 euro uh, uh, bookshelf uh, test, they didn't really like the pass labs, except for one. It was the Sonus Faber, uh, but the, the rest of them just are not good enough for the pass. So it emphasized all the negativity in the loudspeaker. It was really weird. I didn't expect that. Um, but yeah, class A, class D to see how they react on it. The rest of the reference system will be the same. So we have the Sonnet Passitea DA converter, the Mutec clock, of course, uh, and the Alpha Audio PC cabling is Driade flow for the speakers. I had a uh, van der Hull for a while, but for this test, it's a lot easier to swap the cable with the Driade. Uh, and Grim. Uh, power conditioning is still the trusty uh, Isotec Titan, and power cabling is Yeti, uh, mostly the stock Yeti cable uh, that we really like. Yeah. And Fion, finish. Uh, 2500 euros, uh, exactly. From, yeah, it's from Quopio in Finland. Ah. They make both studio and uh, uh, consumer loudspeakers. They only make loudspeakers. Um, studio as well, yeah. As well, yeah, they yeah. do. And uh, yeah. the one 12, 15, 18, 15, and 18, so that's, uh, the, the, I think, the size of the drivers. And uh, they actually they have three series, the Helium, Argon, and the Krypton. And... Uh, it's made in Finland? Yeah. Handmade. Yeah, what? That's what, what they say. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Not made by foot. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, good point. Um, uh, how could you... Okay. Well, it can be the north. It's Finland, so it can be the north of Finland. There's the, the big shop from Santa Claus. The trolls. The trolls. The trolls. The trolls can make them. <laughs> um, Sorry, Finland. We... Um, didn't really test Amphion a lot. No. But we did hear it on the high in Munich a couple of times. Uh, they also made a Class D amplifier, which I really liked at the high in Munich. It was, I think, 2016 or something. It's way back. But yeah, uh, they stopped. <laughs> they stopped uh, making. Well, it's not on the website. No, it's not. Okay. Kay. Well, they did it for a while. And Ansi is the guy behind um, uh, Ansi. Yeah, Ansi. He yeah, he he uh, nice guy. Um, 
clear philosophy i think they have it, it's really clear what they want their their tweeter alignment is all, always different uh driver units are aluminum uh it's the no it's not the only speaker with aluminum drivers but well. you will see that metal domes can also be not harsh okay it's no it has nothing no. to do with we, the we have tested more aluminum drivers yeah and they can be amazing yeah ah groningen he's there there's a guy from groningen as well okay um japan well they're all over the world again well uh, hello all. hello all, yeah about how are, how are we gonna yeah. test this today uh we're gonna play music uh three tracks on two amplifiers yeah so we thought about how to do it uh we start off with the pass labs uh and then we take a classical piece a little part of the allegretto from the seventh symphony of uh beethoven uh, which is nice because it's a very slow build up and all the instrument groups will enter uh, within three minutes and then you can hear the placement and and what it will do yeah. also it's of course all acoustical uh, instruments so that's uh, a different characteristic than uh, rock music or pop music uh, then we will play uh, the track three good things from memo hands ah. um, on the because that's one of the canary in the coal mine tracks <laughs> I, I like to call it you can hear <laughs> within 30 seconds you'll hear what a system can do um so that's a very nice track. well you can hear it we we don't we <laughs> we only see canaries in it. Okay. he's our golden ears yeah. you will you will see we'll go drink some coffee and he, he, yeah you'll be the canary <laughs> <just do the laughs> so then we do on the pass labs then we do the same track or a part of it on the nilai uh because then you can hear the differences at home how a loudspeaker reacts to a different, different um uh, different amp amplifier yeah, yeah um, i'm really curious about that yeah and then the Canary in the Coal Mine track is uh, a good uh, track for it, yep. I think. Yep. And then we have a, a third track from a musician called So Billy Ocean. No, not about Billy Ocean. Mm. Ah. You know, I'm I'm really pushing Billy Ocean. Yes, to do, but it's uh, yeah, we know. every time I don't. We, we'll get you, Billy Ocean. When the going time. gets tough. When the going gets tough. Um, it's tough, tough, tough. Mm. No, Sorry. no little future Sorry. today, uh, What's people. The, no, no, uh, no, no, Lucier. No you Lucier. can play it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the third, the third one? The third track is from uh, an artist called Sohn, um, a guy from Austria, I think, Aust uh, originally, but he traveled, lived all over the place. He lives in London right now, or he is an Englishman who lived in Austria. I forgot one of those. Um, and he made an album last year, um, and it's uh, a really nicely produced uh, uh, modern uh, produced a track mm -hmm. with a lot of bass so here ah. we're gonna test the bass that's a that's a uh, a nice one because you know in the top end all loudspeakers of course will get to 20 kilohertz easily yep. um i've seen that in the measurements no problem at all some are a little bit off of axis of course but that that's normal behavior for a loudspeaker but the bass specifications are funny some say 40 hertz minus 6 db then you know okay there's some roll off of course they're compact loudspeakers you can't expect them to do 40 hertz minus 0 db that's that's crazy uh maybe some active models will be able to do that mm. but passive loudspeakers nah i don't believe that uh, some don't say minus something db at all so they say yeah minus uh, uh, until 35 hertz what minus 10 <laughs> minus 6 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, I'm really curious about that track. Okay, that's yeah. uh, that's a that's a great one. Um, well, we've been talking for 15 minutes. So let's start playing music. I think. Uh, yeah. If there are any questions, you can put them in the chat. I'm, if it the chat is too fast and it's going pretty fast right now, uh, I can't answer all questions. Uh, we'll try to answer most of them in the written review, of course. And. Um, I'm gonna say this only in the beginning and in the end. If you like these kinds of tests, you can support us on Patreon. Um, the last couple of tests we did without any sponsoring at all because we want to be independent. So we just ask for loudspeakers, we get them and we test them. Yeah, we'll say this only twice, but we will say this every minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please support but us on Patreon. We yeah. really, really like your support. We, don't, you like we, cannot, we don't even have lunch today, so. No, 
We really need your money. <laughs> I can't I can't afford them. Because we cannot eat speaker cables. No. <laughs> well, it's it's very yummy speaker cables. It's very yummy. Yeah. It's well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Chewy. We do this uh, a lot of time <laughs> and effort to, to do these kinds of tests, so we really appreciate your support. It's cold outside. It's cold. Well, it is actually. It is, yeah. It it's is very cold. cold yeah, it's two degrees at the moment. But it's a beautiful day outside, and we're sitting inside listening to speakers yeah. for you. Just for you. Just for you. So, uh, um, so enjoy. But I think maybe you, you, you are all patrons. I don't know. And uh, you're friends. We are a community of it is growing. audio enthusiasts and... Uh, it is growing. So thank you for that. Thank you yes. for all your support. We appreciate it. Okay, let's play some. Let's play some music. We start with uh, Symphony Number no. Seven. Yeah, and it's Beethoven. on the Paul Slaps amplifier yeah. right now. Uh, we will tell you when it's swapped. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's enjoy. It's a crime to. Yeah. It's a crime to stop this music, yes. but um, well, we have to. Yeah, it's eight minutes. <laughs> it's yeah. Um, you tell me to when to swap, okay? Yep. Shall we play the um, next track? Good. And then comment and then yeah. you can swap. Good. Do good that. point. Yeah. Let's go. Do do the com comments later. Yep. yep.
love this track. It's a very nice track, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now swap. You can yep. swap. And then for the one. All right. What do you think, uh, Jung? Um, well, um, to begin with, the last track was very impressive. I'm impressed by how how it was all presented, you know. And um, um, at first, I uh, I noted that the the the, the, high, uh, the treble, if you may call it, was very crisp and mm -hmm. transparent, crisp. and and then the percussion. And uh, and I was figuring out f what kind of thing he was tapping on. You know, if it was a tabla, or it was uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Someone said very nice tabla. It's a, it is a tabla, uh, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, and and it was very spacious, very spacious. And then the the, the bass came in, and it was and it was so much more because it, this one was really, I think, this one revealed. I don't know if it's if it's a canary in the coal mine, but it re it revealed what the speaker can can do. And mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I know the the Beethoven pretty well. The track, not not the Herwege, uh uh, a rendition, but it was uh, that lacked the 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 fullness of the orchestra, and it yep. was very nice in the midst. And you could hear, I could hear the uh, the bow on the string on the cellos, I guess. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. But then you know the full orchestra came in, and I it seemed like it was a it 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 lost control, or and I couldn't figure out if it was recording or, uh, well. And then it, the I, uh, I lost contact with with the the, the track, or with music. And with the Beethoven, the bass was a bit lacking. Yeah. So the, the the double basses, which are very low and deep in the, yeah. in the beginning, yeah. were were gone. Yeah. yeah. So it has a little bit of a problem with um, rendering those. Yeah, and the bass kick in Memo Hands was very impressive. Yes. So. That puzzles me if it's recording, yeah. if it's rune, because we we didn't we, we play rune. I, I, yeah, but I yeah, we use on right Orvana. It's uh, I have to track the version if I have the right version of the uh, because with the Beethoven I was already wondering, hey, this this sounds so much different from the yes, one I know. Is, is it the two thousand five? Because I I looked it up and it was the is it the Flemish National Orchestra? Yeah, it's in the Flemish National Orchestra. Yeah, it's a very nice recording made by uh, Pentatone. Um, uh, but maybe this is the title version. Let no, I'll, I'll check it out. See if I can. Can, can we use Ordovana or not? No. Oh. Okay. Um, not with enough. what what I thought was very um, surprising with this uh, with the speaker is the dynamics of yeah. the of the tracks. Also with the orchestra, yeah. it's like there is a an S curve in the dynamics. When it the dynamics are swelling up, it really goes. Full throttle, this yeah. these speakers. Yeah, it's uh, ah. alre also already with the uh, like a turbo head. turbo yeah. engine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then it has speed up. also. It it, it yeah. is. It, yeah. So that's surprising. I thought with Melma Hands the saxophone was a bit on the nasal side for my liking, but um, hmm. I I know how it can sound. But you know the track. I I, I know I, the track I heard by it for the first time. So. Uh, I, I know it by heart, <laughs> so uh, and I've heard it on different sets already here, also here, and I know how how it can sound, and yeah. um, especially the saxophone recording on this rec uh, on this record is so revealing. You can yeah. immediately hear what uh, a system can do. It's so funny. Agreed. It can sound so different on different systems. I agree. Yeah. For all people, the the system has been playing twenty four seven since Wednesday, uh, end of the day yeah so now it, it is all warmed up yeah and all loudspeakers are burned in so Kay. there's no question about that no so worries. the best labs has been yeah it, i don't want to see my electrical bill on the 500 air. watts <laughs> yeah it's it's been powered on since wednesday 24 7 so <laughs> so that's why patreon guys <laughs> please <laughs> this is an ext extremely expensive <laughs> test <laughs> yeah. um, but no worries uh let's go to the nilai oh yeah. you have to put it up uh, uh, three clicks higher because the nilai has or or maybe uh, a different four thing. because yeah. it's single-ended what's your yeah uh, a little four. bit louder. Oh, it's not XLR. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. not XLR. 4 dB plus. Yeah. Let's go. I'm very curious. Do you remember my hands? Yeah.
Ik ga eerst even doen. So short the, comment. So short comment. That's, that's okay. Short, and then the next track. Wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is this shows how important it is to match a amplifier to a speaker. Yeah. Wow. You could not, you know, it's not that bass is. No. No. It, but, it, but it's matching, so it yeah. could, could be the. Uh, the uh, what I, think, I think the I think the uh, pass just gives too much energy to the to these ambience because with the dynamics the dynamics were much more controlled the turbo was lacking on the dynamics it was yeah. much better or the amplifier is more adaptive to to the speaker that could also be the case yeah. it was I also with the thousand euro speaker uh, test the, the pass was just too much yeah and maybe what th this handles it a lot better but the uh, Nilai has so much control. Yeah, and even the I had the impression that the noise floor was lower. Yeah, well, and, it and is and actually <laughs> definitely <laughs> it is lower than the pass. Definitely lower. No problem. That says it all. I think it's, it's ten or fifteen decibels. That yeah. much? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Cla one class A is not that 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 silent. The pass is not uh, the perfect measuring amp. It's very musical, but it's not perfect. Uh, the Nilai is technically superior. Actually, I, I think you, you're right. It's too much when there's too much information going from the pass into the loudspeakers. You know, it somehow there's no feedback or, or whatever. It, it has less grip. I mean, the damping yeah. factor of the Nilai is way higher than the pass. Well, and you can hear that. Yeah. I yeah. think it's because of the passive radiator, but we'll see that with another loudspeaker. Okay. It's, uh, it's harder to control. But it, it's impressive. Wow, it's impressive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and there was more bass. And there uh, was more bass. Well, there was more everything. Yes. <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay. That's great. And that, it, that's the thing with you know when it's when it's right, it's right. You, yes. You, it's you don't listen anymore to what you're missing. At least that's what I'm. No, you know, yeah. I'm just. It's. It's. Um, I liked it. Yes. A there, lot. If if you have to have a little little bit of a comment on them, the. <laughs> the mids were a little bit more compressed yeah. than yeah. With the pass. Yeah, yeah, that's what I told you. Yeah. I said that the, the saxophone is a little bit more. Yeah, but the, yeah. the yeah. tonality of the saxophone was Perfect. way better. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go to uh, track number three. Track number three. That's Mia. Mia. From Son. Uh, yeah. Mia from Son. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> well, this was something different. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was this intended to be like this? Yes. Wow, this is really intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 uh, I mean, I'm curious what other speakers are going to do with this track because yeah. the, 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 the thing is the percussion is distorted yeah. and, and prominent. And I the, mean, the that's voice as well. And the voice yeah. as well. Yeah. But this track hangs on a motif in a low piano. Yeah. So, and that was a little bit. It was overpowered by the by the percussion, so the balance was a bit gone, okay. in that sense. Yeah. But the the spaciousness. Yeah. Of wow. This, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was really, and it was it. It's very in your face kind of speaker. I think it's very f upfront. It, it it feels upfront to me as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. It it it, it plays it, in a nice way, by the way. Yeah, it's not nasty in your face like some loudspeakers Can. but it is a little bit up front definitely yep. yeah yep. um are we going to change the speakers now yes okay. and i'm going to change the track of beethoven in the playlist because it that's the title track and it sounds different to my ear so i want okay. to have it on um i want to have it in the um Cobus, uh, version yeah overall very very nice loudspeaker this one yes It's a bit like you're listening to a near field monitor, but then from yes, the, yes, because that's the, the that was what I was experiencing with you know, this this latest track latest track was a bit nerdy, yeah. So you can imagine that okay, I want some, I'm gonna squeeze it here at the eighty thousand hertz and I and I want a voice. Okay, it was very very revealing actually. Yes, and uh, uh, I I was I was a bit. I've never heard the, I mean, I've heard a track f a few times, uh, but I never heard it like this. Hmm. It was for me also very surprising what I heard with Sohn, but so I, I thought it was It nice. didn't, you know, the speaker doesn't take trouble to sound it nice. It, it, no. It's just, because that's why we could hear that, we could hear that the recording wasn't right in Herrewegen. It, it was just like, you know, I played tennis and there was a tournament and the tennis player came to the organization and said, I think you have to measure the quarter game because I used to play it in and now it's out, so I think it's too short. Yeah. I said, no, come on, why? And and then they measured it and they said, oh, yeah, that was 10 centimeters uh, too short or too long, I, I forgot. But that's the same with this. Yes. Because he knows when he plays like this, it's in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I play, I, you know, I'm <laughs> happy if it's in. <laughs> and I wouldn't know how, but... And that, that's the same thing with these speakers. You know there's something... Not, not not right, and it does. It's not the speakers. No. Intuitively, 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 um, we could tell that, that there was something wrong with the recording. So that's yeah. the nice thing about this Amphion. Okay. It's it's a very nice, very nice speaker. Yeah. Buchard. Yeah. I'm gonna raise a point here now. Okay. Actually, you, sh you should come to the studio. But then we have t some near field speakers, and it's the same. But but on the only thing is you're you're only one meter apart from the speakers. Yes. But they're like tools, so they're telling yeah, you. Yeah, they, they, they are used to be revealing. And yeah. Yeah. And okay, you can uh, you can, uh, of course, on mixing console you can manipulate the sound stage or on which instruments can go back or forth, mm. and you really need it. You yeah. really need something. Uh, They're not towed in that much, or is no, it? No, you don't need it. I, I'm pointing it on your shoulder and your shoulder. Okay. And then it's going. <laughs> it's like you're a sniper, uh, Jan. Yeah. You know, to my forehead. The the speaker sniper. Speaker sniper. <laughs> Big noise. Yep. Uh, and then. 
So you we'll, we'll, um, <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll play some pink noise. Um, and w one channel is out of phase. Yeah. And then he puts on headphones and when he hears nothing, then the signal is, is in full balance because they phase out each other. Yeah. So we cannot hear it because we, we have, a, uh, um, um, you have both. Headphones, yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. And then it's perfectly in you have cross talk cancellation. Yeah. So, in do we all have to measure the, um, the loudness? Okay, so it is quite precise. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna make some noise. And then he will manipulate either the speakers or the microphones. There's a uh, slight technical disturbance. Yeah. Close Maybe the headphone the and uh, has, uh, didn't receive the signal. Yeah. And um, so, uh, unfortunately, oh. legally, we cannot um, <coughs> make something out of pink noise with uh, in terms of Sorry. loudspeaker uh, accomplishments. Yeah, yep. I do it there. Okay. Ja, zo, dat is een groot verschil. Ja, <laughs> I know. Maar hij moet hier liggen. Oh, ja. En moet hij even uitzetten, ja? Ja, even wachten. Oh. Ja. ja, perfect. Oké. Okay. Dan zet ik jullie weer aan. So, oh, now we... Oké, okay, well, I'm hearing myself yeah. twice now, but we have the book art S400. They're yep. priced in euros, 2,100 euro a pair without stand. Um, so, uh, we tested, of course, the active version. We tested the active A500, I think it was, yep. yeah, which was very impressive. And is it is it the same? Is it uh, It's a different design. Yeah, because yeah. I think the tweeter was... Yeah. So this is, I mean, I was. It is like the Amphion, but it's then upside, upside down. down. <laughs> upside down Did you version. put it upside down? No, <laughs> it's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Really. Okay. I checked it <laughs> because. Uh, <coughs> well, it makes sense because um, the waveguide comes f pretty much forward, but the tweeter is pretty deep. Mm -hmm. um, and well, I the. Uh, tweeter is supposed to be on ear level, so if you sit a little bit low, then this is pretty much perfect. I measured it in between the woofer and the tweeter, <coughs> of course, for the uh, uh, response measurements and stuff. It is okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. The crossover is at 1800 hertz, two-way uh, soft dome tweeter, and the woofer is paper, so that's very classic. Yeah. Uh, there's passive radiator at the back. At the yeah. back, as, as the, the other one, the uh, Amphion. Yeah. I, I deliberately, uh, deliberately did that because I'm curious how this sounds compared to the yeah. Amphion. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna find out. Yeah. Uh, I have to do one more thing. So Buchart is what is he Danish? Right? Danish. Yeah, it's a Danish company. And we were very, very impressed by the by A500. By yes. the <laughs> speakers so uh, very curious on how the passive one will perform now with uh yeah it's on the pass right the first one yeah it's on the pass uh the nice thing about the, well the, the special thing about book art you cannot buy it in the shop you can only buy it online yeah uh but he has a, a a way to trial it so if you want to trial these at home you can do so and you can send it back if you don't like it and you only pay the uh, shipping, cost. shipping costs or something so. like that so oh. it's um yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, someone says the the light oak version we have is twenty two fifty per pair, but they are available from twenty one hundred a pair. So, 
is 400 euros less than the Amphion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is the one that's at 33 hertz uh, in room, minus 3 dB. So I'm really curious about the bass response uh, oh. of this one. <laughs> but, well, we heard Bukat before. Well, yeah, that was quite impressive. They were also, really nice. Bass. So, so we now have the Beethoven Herwega version yep. on Cobus. Yeah, it's a different yes. one. It's a different one okay. than the first one. Yep. Uh, I mean, it's the same recording, of course, but it's yeah. the first one was from Tidal. This one's from Cobus. So I know that version. Um, so I hope it will sound uh, a bit different. Mm -hmm. um, if you are curious, this is Philip Herrewege with the Flemish National Orchestra. It's a recording made, uh, the cycle of all the Beethoven recordings on pentatone. Okay. Herrewege made a few of those Beethoven cycles uh, recordings uh, already. So um, this one is a, a very nice one. All right. Musically very correct. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Let's go then. Well done, DJ. Yeah, well done, DJ. Uh, there was one question from Jürgen. Mm -hmm. He says uh, the guy with the iPad and blue shirt is sensitive to timing. Can you advise um, some components? Hmm? But uh, a clock? <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what, you need what, a good what, time, you need a good um, watch. Um, yeah. What, what hi-fi gear do you think is good with timing? 
<sighs> it's a very broad question. That's a very broad question. Yeah. We'll the think Nilai, about it. for instance. What? The Nilai. Nilai is crazy good with timing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why, why but also, ask, also. Why didn't he ask us? <laughs> I think because Martijn is proving good himself watch. to be really uh, he has a good He has timing. a good watch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a good watch, watch yeah. You will um, have a good time, need a good watch. No, no without joking, uh, the, the Nilai, I, I mean it, I mean the Nilai is really, really, really great with timing and um, that's one of the things why it sounds so, um, so pleasurable to listen to. Uh, yeah. Because you don't feel any form of stress in your body when you listen to it. Nothing. And no. that's... Partly due to the timing. That's one of the components. Um, and of course, you need to have a good uh, switch. If you play digital music, a good yeah. switch with a good uh, power supply. Yeah. Um, a fast power supply. That um, makes a lot of difference. Especially fast. Yes. I mean, linear is not always better than switch mode. No. Because most linear power supplies are slower than switch mode. You experienced it. Yes. Uh, me too, a couple of times now. Yep. And well, read the large test we recently did on timing and network switches. Uh, it proved that it makes a difference and that linear power supplies aren't always better. Yep. And also in terms of, of loudspeakers, we had the Amphion before, now we have the Bookards, which yep. are both Nordic uh, mm -hmm. uh, brands. Yeah, um, this is really different. The Nordic brands tend to have a very um, good form of timing. I mean, they are the the the, the sound characteristics of the Nordic sound is uh, often very much on um, emphasis on the mids and the timing. Yeah. Audio physic, audio physic is German. German, okay. Thanks. But audio physic is also. Uh, one which is yeah. good for timing. Yeah. Very yeah. snappy sound yes. most of the time. Fast. Uh, Fast sound. System audio is the yep. same. It's also very... But that's a, that's a little mm. bit more relaxed than the, than more, the other yeah. ones. Yeah, it's a little more. sweeter. Yep. Yeah. But if you go uh, uh, Triangle from France, yeah. for instance, which is the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. If you are looking for timing and snappiness, then Triangle is not your um, no. your your speaker. I mean, it can be taste. fun, though. Yes. But it's really <laughs> the nice that we, we, we've talked about it earlier, Jaap, that yeah. c uh, 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 it really depends on the country. Uh, and yeah. the, uh, mostly, it depends on the country uh, with which sonic signature uh, brands have. For instance, we are fond of Swiss, which is, of course, a watchmaking uh, country in there. Yeah. Very precise, yep. very expensive, true. very uh, true yep. to the original. Yeah, um, Nagra as well. Nagra, uh, well, we, yeah. uh, you could also, s and then Americans are mostly they, you know, they they are powerful, powerful big, yeah, uh, power hungry. Yeah. Uh, so you 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 know every uh, country. Or region has its Six specific. I think signature. the culture shows through in the in the yeah. brand and the yeah. sound signature. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It trickles down. Yeah. Yeah. But back to these bookards. Um It's a little. We have a different version of uh, of the same symphony, but I immediately noticed with this one, it's very spacious sounding. Yeah, I smooth. mean the placement. The placement uh, in the depth yeah. um, of the orchestra was much better than with the amphions. Um um, and it has a very nice balance between uh, mid, low, and high. Yeah, so tonal, tonal balance is very, really correct. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. violins are a bit sharp, uh, from for my taste, sharper than with the amphions, which were. It was. Uh, it, it seemed smoother, so I couldn't. Yeah. I, I I could hear less detail, but overall, you know, it was more coherent. Yeah, but violins um, can get a metallic kind mm -hmm. of sheen on the top end and. This one had the metallic sheen on the top end. So, um, but it's it's all little details. Um, uh, when we comment on what we hear, I mean, we we comment about the differences and the things that we hear. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's and I'm still thinking that you know I looked it up. It, 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 it's it's yeah. SACD recording, yeah, hybrid. So yeah, I think when we would hear the CD. We would it will be different. It yes. will be so. So I think it really the source is now the limitation of on what we hear. Yep. Yes. Um, yes. yes. So 
I would prefer, let's say, that to have the volume a bit up, so it would be more. It will be better. I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, I agree. I mean, passive radiators need current, so the louder you play, the better it will get. Yeah. Okay. Um, some speakers are more sensitive to that than others. That's why a lot of people also ask the question: How will, it, how does it sound when the volume is down? Which is a really valid question. Yeah. Uh, especially with small bookshelf speakers. Can we have a little piece of the full orchestra with the volume up a little bit? Yeah, just just one minute. Yeah, one minute. Of the, okay, of the yeah, sure. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, remember let's the, say two, the two setting minutes. then. Uh, sixty-two. It's sixty-two. So let's play it up three. Uh, three steps up. Yeah, I don't know. And then something somewhere yeah, halfway. Five. It's, yep. It's okay. I will. I will. Yeah. I will pick out. Yeah. Uh, I will just continue where we are right now. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yes. Do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm curious if it gets more body. Oh, so I'll switch. Yeah. yeah, does it get better? It gets a little better. Yeah, a little. Yeah, I didn't notice a, a huge difference. No, what I noticed with this recording again is that the woodwinds are sounding really nice, and uh, with this speakers, the placement, the orchestra, the depth in the soundstage is yeah. is impressive. Yeah, it's, it's really, really impressive. Yeah, I hear a lot of the hole in which they are playing. Yeah. Yeah, um, I noticed the atmosphere more than, but it can be the recording because this is a different recording than the previous one. Uh, it's the same recording, but it's a it it, it is different a Cobus uh, streaming, streaming, streaming uh, platform is of different. The title version. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. And that first sounded so weird to my eyes. So uh, ears. Yeah. So um, oh, I wrong button. Ah, oh, that's the, the display. display button. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Back to sixty-two. And then to Memo Hands. Curious about this one. Because I know this track better. Yep, go. go. Thank you. 
Ooh. <laughs> wow. I like the combination. Yes. It's a, it's a good match with the pass laps. Yes, very good. I saw the current meter. I was looking at the current meter of the pass laps. Yeah. Uh, and I saw it at sometimes really, really going like this. Ooh, um, because wow. this track, I know. And the, these speakers can handle it. Without a doubt, yeah. But it also that that that's good. You mentioned that I, I didn't pay any attention, but it also says that you need an amp with current on these loudspeakers because the pass can deliver a lot of current. Yeah. But if it goes, these drive a lot of okay. current. Because my TADs, I never see it move. No, okay. No, nothing. It stays completely in class A. But they're sen they're more sensitive. TADs. Yes, and these are 87, yeah, yeah. which is not bad, by the way. It's pretty good. Um, 88. 88. Oh, but the they're MVOs still are 87. Yeah, uh, apparently. So I'm very curious about the class D. Yeah, me too. Don't That's want to. Uh, yeah, but uh, amazing sound stage. Yes. Not only, but with um, what I heard right now is that all the subtleties in the saxophone so the way he plays mm -hmm. sonority in in some places a brightness when he wants to emphasize the the saxophone uh, melody it always is audible it's it's spot on yeah Absolutely. so all the things he does with the saxophone and the way he plays it's easily to to hear and also in the layering of the music the tabla was placed behind um yeah. in the sound stage this time it was m less uh, prominent than uh, with amp yep. Ampion. Yep. Well, I, I thought I, I'm curious about what, what uh, yep. with this amp, but I, I was less impressed by the saxophone in a way than. No. But I was, yeah. Okay. No, I liked it. Yeah, but I mean, liking is different from yeah, okay. hearing. <laughs> it seemed to me more squeezed, more squeezed in. Oh, okay. Somewhat more com compressed, uh, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really uh, off axis, so you have a better spot to. So I was not that impressed by a saxophone. To, okay. to, to, um, I was more impressed by a saxophone with the former one, but that was with the uh, with the Nilai M. Okay. Well, let's find out. Uh, yeah, uh, three or four clicks yep. up because of the single-ended inputs. Here. Yeah, and um, well, let's go. I'm curious. Yes.
Okay. What a difference. Yeah, but less than with the Amphion, I think. Yeah. I like the rhythm of the Nilai again. Yep. It's really tight and rhythmic. I did like the flow in the pass more this time. I think with the pass, the tonality, the richness of the tonality of the all the instruments was better, was more present than with the... So the speakers um, really reveal the differences yeah. between the amplifiers. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But it's less dramatic than with the Amphion, yeah. I have yeah. the uh, idea. There was a huge difference, yeah. but I think because these speakers are more correct, that the difference is less... I think they're, mm, I don't know, a it's little bit more neutral than the Amphion. Yeah, they are. Um, and um, the emphasis uh, was different um, with the Nilai in this uh, this instance. The um, the mid tones, the mid piano, was more pro uh, pronounced yeah. than uh, with the pass labs. Yeah. And but. On the other hand, the bass got more kick with the Nilai than with the pass labs. It was more subtle, the bass. And uh, I don't know at what time it was, but then some uh, halfway the tabla comes in and yep. uh, the piano, um, I think he has the pedal down. Yep. So the overtones yep. can be heard. And you could hear, you could hear, could hear really as if you're, you know, I'm a piano player, so I, I, I as if you're there, so you, yeah. I could hear all these overtones in the in the board of the piano, when the tabla was hitting it, and he was sometimes sometimes hitting. I think he was hitting either the the uh, the, the strings or the keys, um, and it was really audible. It was yeah. it, it was if you, and it wasn't revealed. The past didn't reveal that, as 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 did the the nilai. Yep, that's true. It was yep. amazing. So of course it's a matter of detail, but it's also a matter of if you're in the recording or not in the recording. I, mean, yeah. I, I really feel this. I was in yeah. in the recording. Definitely. The, the only thing yeah. that I noticed in the end, the um, the tweeter was very audible to my ears when the the with the hi hats from the from the drum. Yeah. So when at the end on the hi hats there's this rushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the brushes. Yeah. Then you could hear the tweeter. I really pinpointed the sound coming oh, really? from there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some say um, uh, I had a comment that was pretty much spot on. Um, yeah, I can't find it anymore. But um, yeah, o overall, compared to the Amphion, I think these are more neutral. Yes. Definitely more neutrally tuned, at least. Um, I like the pass combo more. In yep. this case, compared with the Amphion, the sound stage is what is deeper. Yeah. So the placement of the instruments with the orchestral piece is better. Yeah. Uh, I have to say. Yeah. But um, with the Amphion, the uh, with with the Nilai, yeah, the hands track was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it had more drive. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Than this. This is more laid back. Yeah. But for long listening sessions, this oh yeah. I think the uh, bookarts uh, are more pleasant. What would you say world. is the difference because you had them at home, the bookarts, yeah. with the active? Can you, can you remember, re recall? Yeah, well, not precisely, of course, but the um, the uh, less bass. The 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 active speakers are very bass heavy. Yeah, a little bit too much even yeah, sometimes. Um, and that's a closed system. This mm -hmm. is has a bass port or a passive radiator. No, no, passive, no, radiator. passive radiator. radiator. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it it's different. It sounds different. These sound more relaxed, to be honest. The actors are a bit beefy. Yes. Yeah. You have to, you can adjust it with the DSP, of course, but yeah, yeah. It's different from yeah. Yep. Okay. I I think I think uh, this has a different target group than yeah. the active speakers. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah, be honest. yeah. 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 Th this is more audiophile, maybe. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. But uh, I like the active ones as well. Last track? Yes. Okay. You can go.
crazy track. But damn, what a difference in control between yeah, the Amphion and the Bookert. <laughs> It was better controlled, more balanced yeah. than, than with the Amphion. Yeah. It, it's also a bit less drive. I mean, the Amphion yeah. has more drive Definitely. as a speaker. Like, yeah. Really in your yeah, face. I could really hear the tweeters again. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. The first on the right, then on the left, and then both. Yeah. 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 Funny. Especially when it became a little bit uh, disharmonic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting. That's that's funny. Yeah, once once you hear it, you cannot un unhear it. That's uh, that's the trouble, of course. Well, w w I'm going to the show the measurements in the end, but um, uh, uh, it's funny. Could you could you say which frequency it is around, or is it no, really hard? That's really hard. Yeah, because there's mean, the high the high hats are eighteen thousand, I think, seventeen thousand. No. no. Well, the, the, those are the harmonics from the the yeah. hi hat itself. Yeah, thirteen, fifteen, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think around. Yeah, thousand, eleven. Yeah, the hi hat itself. Yeah. And and the when you can hear the tweeter, uh, it may, might be lower a little bit. Well, because there is some thousand maybe. There are some some ringing mm -hmm. in, in the um, in in uh, and th those are all harmonics from the hi hat, I think. Okay. And and it it, it shows some ringing because okay. of the waveguide, I think. Yeah. The thing is, there is a, a kind of a detuned a synthesizer in between. Yep. And yeah. That messes up the harmonics. Could so be. Then Could you the tweeter starts having trouble because yep. they have both the 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 the, the harmonics. Mm -hmm. And you have to detune the synthesizer. And okay. The synthesizer is all, all often it's a block wave, so it's a hard, hard to uh, very hard to amplify it because. Oh, it's, it's a square wave square, you're sending so out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. It's, uh, it, you know, it's it's Einstein. If you see yeah. all these, all these, and and what what they do, they have a modulation um, wheel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and and that you hear, and that's. It's hard. Complicated, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to 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 reproduce for a loudspeaker. Yeah, in the end, I always call this the uh, Radiohead producer uh, whining, uh, whining synthesizer sound. <laughs> he started with it, and everybody is <laughs> is copying it. Yeah, it's, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I think I think I see some stuff that you might be able to hear. Yeah. Um, but um, if you have to listen to this again for a longer time, this is more. You can listen to this for a longer time, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a very pleasant loudspeaker yes. to listen to, and um, yep. I like the neutral tuning and the um, laid backness yep. of it. And what what I heard it, at the start, the piano chords were this time um, very audible, mm -hmm. and you heard them all through to until the end because it's yeah. there's all the chords are still laying there. Yeah. That's what the song is built on. So yes. It really uh, remained in place. Yes. Where, where it started. Yes. At uh, zero zero. Yeah. Um, what are we going to? It's, it's twelve o'clock for us. It's kind of lunch. It's twelve o'clock. It's yeah. twelve o'clock already. Already. Oh, yeah. Well, number three. Time, time. Yeah. One more. Yeah. One more. Yeah. One more, and then Dino we audio. We, uh, we will be having lunch. Um, Luncheon. Okay. I'm gonna. It's like we just started. I'm gonna. Yeah. 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 Time flies when you're having fun. I'm gonna swap them out. Yep. So we're on to the Dynaudio Evoque 20. They're 2150 euros without stands, two way bass reflex. Um, and also a Nordic brand again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go on to the Revel uh, after that. Yeah. Okay. Um, Crossover is pretty high, 32,000 hertz. Yeah. Uh, so that, yeah, that can be explainable because the woofer is quite big. So the woofer does also some job in the mid range, low mid range. And um, according to the specifications, the it's, it starts at 40 hertz at minus 3 dB until 23 kilohertz. And that's the lowest in specs because the Buchheit says it goes until 40 kilohertz. And mm -hmm. 
the Amphion 25. They're also a bit bigger than the other speakers. Yeah, and they're physical. Yeah, bigger. They're bigger. Yeah. And in terms of weight, it's interesting. The Amphion was 12 kilos. Mm -hmm. Book height was seven and a half only. Mm -hmm. and this one is 10 kilos. Okay. Um, like we cannot say it's the MSB. Oh, it's the what's the material of the woofer? It's kind of. Uh, a, it's their own. Um, the MSP. Sort of yeah, we, we yeah. started in Munich, right? Yeah. The, the, yeah. MSP, they call it. And in Twitter, it's a soft dome, as you can see. Yeah, their own creation again. Or the Evoque 20. And rounded corners on the uh, on the speakers to. Uh, for for reflections. reflection. Yeah. Yep. So now we will do some pink noising and. Uh, after, uh, after we are being lasered again, uh, Jung. Yeah. Tatered and lasered. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Is this a new model, yeah, or is this already? Well, they, they renewed it, yeah. Okay. Uh, the audio is quite. Uh, uh, they, they're uh, conservative. They, they don't really. They use their own units for a long time now. They, they, they press this unit. It has some sort of slot in the middle. Their way of pro they, they produce everything themselves in house and they improve up upon the technology okay. for years now. So there's not no revolutionary no. new stuff. But and, and the th funny thing about the audio is. Their signature is the same on every yeah. loudspeaker. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which one you have. You went to the factory, did yeah. you? Yeah, two years ago or so. Well, it's a nice brand. Yeah. It's a nice like brand, it. yes. The only thing is that the DIN Audio logo on, the, on that speaker is glued. <laughs> it's a, a little off, bit, it's off bit axis. Of, it's off axis. It's off yeah. axis. Yeah, so the logo is off axis. Lars, you you didn't mean to do that, Mister Mister Wara. Yeah, pink noising. Pink noising. Okay. And then the. Saves a lot of time if you align them already. Yeah, 67? Yep, 67. Okay, top. Dat scheelt nogal namelijk. Ja, het scheelt heel veel, want deze moet ik blijf gewoon 64 staan. Ja. Oh. Oké, we level dit one eens again. Vocal mics are on. Um, Oh. oh, yeah, your uh, headphones are still on also. <laughs> Pretty annoying if you hear yourself three times. Yep. So we level them once again, and they're on the same um, loudness. Yeah. So that's all comparable. It was a big request from the last uh, uh, live stream because we did it on music. Yeah, yeah. I know guys it's uh, not as accurate but now it's really accurate yep. they're yep. all the same 67 dbs on the mic 
Um, well, DIN Audio. Uh, one of the viewers said, please do the measurements after the live stream. I think that's fine. If we conclude, we can also say yep. uh, how they measure. I'm not going to do every measurement because it's quite boring. For Maybe you can people. read it later. Yeah, we'll put it in the um, in the article, and I'll explain all the measurements as well. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, we discussed everything. I think. Yes. We're back on the pause labs. For the people that tuned in uh, later, I'm gonna switch on the Neli again because otherwise it will cool down. Then let's start with uh, Beethoven. Yeah, one second. Can the mic? Maybe in the story of at low volume, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can go. You go. Yes, sorry for the mono in the first minute. I uh, forgot to adjust the uh, uh, plugin. But um, you got the last part in stereo anyway. Uh, well. This is really, really different. Yes. <laughs> wow, especially the beginning is like bam, yeah, clear. Yeah. yeah. It's um. The dynamics are amazing on on these speakers. I mean, the soft passages are really soft and still very audible yeah, yeah. you hear everything yeah. yeah the sound of the strings of the double basses and the celli are beautiful yeah even f from the, 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 the it's really a, a, an 
uh, a, a, a crescendo yeah. practice. You know, you start very yeah. sostenuto, you call it, I yeah. think, and then it goes to, to forte. And it's amazing how, how you can follow uh, every line of the instruments. And you know, I I wrote down this is what matching yes. sounds like. Yes, it's not mm -hmm. good or bad, but it's it's just it's a good match. It's you know everything is is right in terms of apparently of electronic matching of yeah. Uh, but also, the color of the instruments was different yeah. than the other speakers, and yes. the, and and I think very rich, very correct. Um, uh, the the part when the the, the dynamics are going. To the forte, um, the, the 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 gloriousness of this music yeah. really shines through. It opens up, yeah. It opens up, yeah. And um, I heard a lot of the of the hall again. Yeah. Uh, very spacious sounding, which this recording uh, should sound like. Very spacious. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking about timing, the precision of the timing between the bass, the mids, and the highs coming to my ears from the speaker is really, okay. really, really impressive. Um, What's the price of these speakers? Because uh, we didn't mention 21, it. yes, it's 2150. Yeah, 2150. Yeah, cheapest. Uh, well, no, the same. Yeah, that's Bukert, one. Bukert is 2100. This one is cheaper. Yeah, the Aurum Cantus, but that's the, the bonus model if we have some extra time. Yep. Um, 2150 it's in the bottom range of this test so it's uh, it's quite impressive it's really impressive yeah yeah i'm looking i i, I yeah only the logo is off axis well <laughs> only the logo on one one of the speakers is in, indeed off axis i i noticed that says even the logo is, <laughs> is off <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i think you you will get another pair if it's yours no problem at all yeah. uh yeah it's interesting yeah, it's yep. interesting. Beautiful. Yeah. So I'm curious what Memo Hens will do. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm curious. What, how, what did, what would did Be you think? Uh, how would Beethoven sound on the Nilai, you think? I think if you play Beethoven on the Nilai, and we can do it as a bonus at the end. Yeah. Um, but I think that it will sound... Um, not in your face, maybe. No, not in your face. I think that the, um, uh, the spaciousness between the instruments will grow a bit even. And because the noise floor is much lower, you will yeah. hear more detail in the instruments. Yeah, yeah a little bit sure. more blackness. Because I, I yeah. uh, imagined I could hear some noise, but that was, of course, it's not. Could could be my laptop cooling. <laughs> uh, no. No, it's um, what I noticed also with with these speakers is that the um, the orchestra itself, there are not many players on the stage. No, it's it's had always small. play for small yeah, orchestras. So, yes. And you the, can the, really the, hear yeah. it here. And I was wondering, do, at home, do you have to download? Did yes, you? Okay, I have that's download, yeah. because you can download it from Pentaton yeah, the, in in different f formats. You can download the SACD. You have to, I think, you have to four channel. I don't know. Yeah, it's a it's a multi channel recording also. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can choose which recording you yeah. want at home. Uh, I have the the simple. Uh, so you can ha you can buy the high res or the DSD. Okay. Version, and the DSD is DSF. Yeah. You I need, have, you I need have the high res. I have the PCM. You version. need a big hard disk for that, I guess. <laughs> yes, but it's it's um it's a, a very well made recording. Yep. Um. Memo hands. Yeah, I'm really curious because I my, my experience with the the audio is that they're pretty rhythmic. Uh, okay, let's yep. switch. Yes. yes.
Yeah, we were discussing it's so different yes it, it, sometimes i really think wow this is clear and nice and fast and sometimes i think yeah but there's some tuning in it i i'm not sure what it is but th there is i know there is a small bump in the middle is this what you say the dinaudio signature yeah definitely yeah. oh yeah. yeah 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 this is dinaudio for I, sure I, I, the transients uh, yeah, are really good. The piano notes are really good. Are really, 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 really good. Yeah, there are the 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 the, the small uh, yeah. things he does yeah. with the, on the piano. Yes, the small things, but as soon as it becomes more in the mid low, yeah. it becomes too much pushed. Yeah, pushed yeah. There's a slightly coloration. What 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 on you the warm side? It's it's definitely on the warm, warm side, and I. What would you consider mid low? What would you consider mid low? Yeah, like like. Four, five, six hundred hertz around that area, vocal range or it's lower. A, it's than that. A, it's about here on the piano. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, oh, it's yeah, yeah, it's, but it's that's C, lower. C one. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the the funny dun, thing is, the the dun, tuning dun, is dun, like dun, 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 um, dun. Yeah, that's this this this, yeah. this, this, this dun. Bum, dun, 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 dun. like that's uh, what, what is it? Is, is the, the the bass tones in the in the piano were more flashy with uh, more flesh more flesh on the bones yeah. than with the uh, with the other speakers. Yeah, yeah, and that's the coloration that you hear. And it was extremely detailed. You know, every yeah. single detail on the percussion yeah. we could hear. I yeah. don't know if you heard it at home. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah. Um, but it was very impressive. Rich tonality. Yeah, rich tonality, definitely. Yeah, but the on the high end part, the uh, symbols were a bit um, prominent. Uh, prominent and rushing. Yeah, in the yeah. sense of yeah. sounds. I was looking at you at, at that point, like yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. But nice speakers. And I guess impressive. Yeah, when you would buy these speakers, you wouldn't. Uh, attach a pass labs on it, so um, <laughs> probably. I not, think no. you won't hear it what we hear uh, uh, yeah. if you buy if you would buy the speaker. Um, well, we're, so we're the Nilai would would be more uh, more matching, appropriate. Definitely, so I think the Nilai uh, punches above its class yeah. uh, in many ways. Uh, but let's be honest, the pass labs uh, magnifies. Yeah. everything in yes. this in this so did you check the <laughs> no i sorry i didn't because <laughs> I, I i i have my my reading glasses so i, I cannot yeah. see it <laughs> because it's really you know it's it's like a uh, uh, like a chevrolet you know a, <laughs> a hemi 5.0 yeah yeah, yeah. yeah 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 eight yeah, liters yeah. or five liters v8 you know it, it is in a way it, it can deliver so much current without any any but the speakers can handle trouble. it yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, th these can handle a lot. Yep. Uh, let's see the Nilai. I'm, I'm really curious how it matches. I th yeah, uh, I'm not going to say anything. It's. Uh, I have a feeling. I, I have a fe uh, gut I feeling. I got too, a yeah. feeling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's a different yeah, we we'll do that next time. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go.
well, my gut feeling got right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did you think, Martijn and Jung? Um, I thought that the uh, with the saxophone it was uh, a bit more leaner sounding, but also yeah. more spacious sounding than less boxed in than with the pot labs. Um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That was one thing that I really stood out. Um, uh, the tuning of the Dean Audio is really evident right now because yeah. when the saxophone is at the end, when it was going lower, just like the piano, it changed yeah. color of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I agree. And there's a was really a disconnect between the tabla and the other instruments. Yeah. And the, there was something with the overtones that not. Yeah. Well, not, with the higher piano note, I, with I the harmonics, I yeah. heard a ringing, yep. and it wasn't on the other loudspeakers, at least not as obvious to me. No. Um, yeah, the, the Nilai, um, I heard more prominent mid yep. than with the pass slaps. I think it's more spacious than the pass slaps. I think that's the signature of the Nilai. It's yep. really spacious. And it's detailed. and uh, Very fast. Uh, it has loads of grip also on the din audio yep i think we also hear the difference between bass reflex and passive radiator now very obviously oh yes yep and uh, maybe that's the coloration you hear in the saxophone and the piano can be yep. yeah the poor tuning and also there there at the end there um the percussionist does something with not it's not the the cymbals but i think it's shelves you know you have these percussion instruments but there were uh, are shelves uh, uh, stacked and uh, yeah, yeah, and that's a very nasty, nasty, nasty sound. Really? Yes, it's very, it's, it's. Uh, uh, yeah. But it was the first time I could hear that. That's the nice thing. I, could, but maybe because I, I heard it for the, I don't know, sixth time now. It's, yeah, it's, it's, if it's. Um, and I'm looking into the movie if I can see. What, what instrument oh, it is? Oh, oh, yeah. what, uh, what he's doing. Uh, but the, I, I think these Dean audios are very detailed. In yeah, they, they, they are. reveal a lot. And um, uh, that's also with the tuning of the of the high frequency. So it's a little bit more emphasized on the upper mids, yeah. which gives you a lot of detail. You hear a lot of detail if you just give it a little bit more emphasis, I think. Um, and uh, that's how they uh, are sounding. But it's very rich in sound. So the the the, the, yeah. the tonality of all the instruments um, is very rich, and this is nice. I I I I can imagine that people are really going for this sound. Right. Yeah. I do like them. Yes, uh, and they they have some very nice uh, yep. signatures. I mean, like you said, it's fast, it's detailed, it's not really colored. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. More than the Bukarts. Yes. Uh, I think the Amphion are the more... Are but the Amphion is more tuned. Yeah. In, in the treble of the Amphion is... In the treble, yeah. ...is much more tuned than this Dean Audio. Hmm. But this has a bump, a, a really small uh, Bowers bump, I call it now, uh, between uh, 3 and um, yeah. 7 kilohertz. But it's less than Bowers. Oh, much less. Yeah, this is like 1 or 2 dBs yeah. max. Bowers does four or five. <laughs> so, so let's see what it's going to do with the Sean uh, track, Mia. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, ready? Yep. yep. Okay, let's, let's go. go.
Yeah. Um, it became kind of boomy. <laughs> well, I said it, it went up. They handled it for a while pretty well. Yeah. And then they, they, they just gave up. Gave up. <laughs> <laughs> too much. So yeah, it, was too, it was too much. This is um, too much for them. The dubbing of the voice was very evident yeah. um, uh, with the speakers, uh, more than with the other speakers. Yeah. Um, so that was funny. So the detail, the amount of detail that the speakers can reveal is uh, is astounding. Yeah. The timing is spot on. I really mean, good. Yeah. Too impressive. Yeah. Yeah. But the, yeah. Percussion no. was was. Nice but it thing. didn't grab me. The no. Song. Uh, the first minute, I was like, "Wow, they really yeah. can do this." And then no. it just no, they couldn't handle it. No, it 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 wasn't really nice in the end. Uh, I play a lot of classical music at home, and then I would really love to listen on the speakers. Yeah. But this kind of music, no. if I would play a lot of this kind of music, then I probably make another. But the strange thing is that the bass was the most heavy from the speakers we've heard up to now. Yes. This is a song where bass is important, and, yeah. and yet you say I wouldn't listen to it. It, it it became too, too much. boomy, too much, too too muddy, too, yeah. too muddy, too uncontrolled. It didn't have the control that it needs to have. I a agree. It could be a little bit of placement. Uh, on the other end, the, this room is treated, um, so the placement is still, of course, in important, but yep. more like ba bass emphasis, yep. and not boominess uh, you get enough or not enough bass uh, or, or according to the distance to the wall but i don't think we can solve this muddiness it, it's it's just you know it, we have to agree these are 2100 euro loudspeakers and it, they it's do impressive. really well I, I, I up to up till now with beethoven i really like these the yeah. best yeah 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 um they are with, good with memo hands. With memo hands, it's it's good. It's I think the funny thing is, like I said, that's a canary in the coal mine track. Yeah, you hear everything with that track. Uh, what and they did something well. Does. They did well. Yeah. Uh, but all the other speakers also did well in on certain aspects. So you can really pinpoint, pinpoint and where, pick yeah, where and the, strong the differences are, strong points and weaker points are with that track. But I would have expect. I would have expected that for. Let's say for a new electronic music, this speaker would be yeah, me too suitable. Yeah, it isn't. It's it's, it's no. Or it's is a it difficult track. Yeah, <laughs> really, it's a really, really difficult, difficult track. So to how would Billy Ocean sound on this one? I think wonderful. <laughs> I think that we would could be play it during the yeah, break. yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll play some music during the break. Um, well, for us, it's time for a break. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's half past oh, quarter to one almost. Already, it's, uh, wow! Yeah, it's, it, it. We are hungry. <laughs> I am hungry at least. We're gonna take a thirty-minute break. Yep. Um, and we'll play some music, right? Well, then YouTube will block us. Oh. Uh, oh, one more time, Beethoven, on the Nilai. That's a request. Oh, we can do that before lunch. We can do uh, that uh, before lunch. Yes. yes. Okay, let's, let's do that. We'll okay. do that, especially for you. Okay, so it's off a note, off a PC. Off a PC. Let's play some Beethoven. You switch? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch now. Thank you. 
<laughs> it's it's like you are going a few rows back in the hole. Yeah. So there's more blending of the instruments. There's more blending of the sound of the hole. Yeah. And yet the um, the natural tonality of the instruments is impressive. Really impressive. <laughs> I want a delay when I from Sinterklaas. Yeah. Um, wow, I'm I'm really impressed. Yes. This is actually really good. Yep. Did you hear the with with the tutti the there was a little sharpness on the violins. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the recording or is that the I also noticed it with the bookards yeah. and not with the amphions. So no. I think it's the uh the critical point where depending on the tuning yeah. of the speaker it can yeah. be it also can our be ears. It can be a little bit too sharp yeah. or just right. I mean, I think it's the sharpness of the metal of the yeah, uh, violence. Also, when you're in hearing it live, you can also yeah, 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 sometimes, yeah, definitely. It's too much yeah. or yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, uh, good one, Jos. This was impressive. Uh, let's have some lunch. Yes, I'll. Um, I w we can't play any music. I'm sorry because otherwise YouTube uh, will block us. <laughs> um, yeah. But. We'll be back in around 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yep. Yeah. So see you in 30 minutes. Yeah. See you later. Uh, let's see this one. Uh, 12.30, no. <laughs> that wordt toch 13 uur 15. Is the microphone out? No, not.
Leo. Ja. Oké. Okay. Ik hoor niks. Nee, nog niet. Oh, oké. Okay. Uh. Oh. Ja, ja. Ja, ja. Dat was hem. Jezus, dat ding is ook geraad. Hij moet bijna weg. Zo, oké. Okay. Doe even dicht. Oké, oké. De matrix plugin voor de imaging chips. Dus, uh, dit is Vmix. En dan zit die MS plugin zit daarin van Waves. Ik gebruik zo'n paar toon. Hetzelfde. Die is gewoon perfect. Dat is echt uh, heel makkelijk. En zo. Nou, nou we're, we're back. back. We're back in business. We're back in business. <coughs> um, I hope you can all hear us again. And if not, please let us know. Well, then you wouldn't be hearing this, so. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Um, even kijken. Um, Loudspeakers. Uh, it sounds <laughs> all good. Fine. Well, yeah. Is this the last pair or do you want one bonus pair? I think we can go for five today. Yes. What do you think? Yeah. Yes. So we're testing uh, okay. in case you're a new oh. yeah. uh, viewer. The lunch window is still there, someone is saying. Oh. Yeah. Uh. You're absolutely we're not right. lunching anymore. No. no. We are we reviewing. Had a, we had a very sparse lunch because uh, we need more Patreons. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, had. I can't afford good we, lunch. We. Uh, <laughs> We had lunch, we had old XLR cables. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, old, the old ones. Some, some, some old ones. So what we are doing yeah. is uh, we are testing, reviewing <coughs> bookshelf loudspeakers in a price range of about two and a half thousand euros, a pair without stands. And before the break, we had uh, the Amphians, yeah. Argon 3S, yeah. the Buchard S400, and the Denario Evoque 20. And now we'll go on with the Revel M106. Yeah. And then as a bonus, uh, the Autumn Contus V2M. And yeah. we, on our request to send on our, to the distributors to send in uh, speakers, we received <laughs> 13 pairs, pairs yeah, of speakers. Yeah, and still uh, some people uh, and some, counting some yeah they, they, they say yeah but we have this and this and this and this. so said, please stop because this is yeah tough. so we have to find out how to do this because uh, uh since we have not enough money we uh yeah we need you now so, okay now we'll stop but it's uh no, for us it's it's um our hobby uh and we do it because but, but we cannot do it do this for uh two three days in a row so we have no. to find out how to do this uh, within the 
limited time frame that we are we have these speakers here. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to do this because it's uh, it's it's I think it's a category that's very interesting. I think it's very fascinating. Because it's a cut above entry level yeah. and uh, uh, still affordable. You know, you can get a very decent pair of speakers for this yeah. kind of. Thing. Of course, it, it depends on what people f think it's affordable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, because I I met people who say, okay, two hundred is above my pay load or pay paycheck, grade. pay grade, yeah. but. Uh, I think when you are fond of music, you want to be involved yeah. uh, in music, into music, then you have to spend money, as you have to spend money on every hobby. Yes, and if Agreed. you if you are watching this live stream and you want to listen along with us to the speakers, then you probably are <coughs> very interested in this kind of speakers. So yeah, it's it is within the reach of a lot of uh, people who are very much interested in hi-fi, and I think yeah. like with uh, amplifiers, two thousand, two and a half thousand euros is kind of the sweet spot for a lot of people or the yeah. highest attainable uh, spot for a lot of people and there is a lot on offer in this price range yeah a lot there's a lot to offer yeah 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 there's a lot lot on offer um and with with our class d diy nilai amp yeah uh i think that one you know there's really an evolution or a revolution maybe in yeah. am amplifier that for that money you can buy such pristine quality I, i'm shocked uh after this after the few uh, first few loudspeakers we tested today i'm actually shocked by the performance of that amplifier i mean yes the pay the pass is a little better in a lot of ways but if you consider the price it's an absolute no-brainer and if you have to pay for the electricity bill <laughs> the mean <laughs> is a very good deal yeah uh, yeah yeah CO Which is the best CO2 imaging CO2 pair? Wise, yeah. The best imaging pair. Uh, Up to so, now. Uh, so far, I think it's cut between the Dynaudio and the Bucards. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, I think both were very good with the imaging. Yeah. A little bit different. Yeah. I think the um, Dynaudio was in imaging a little bit smaller in size. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it had a very, very good sounding um a uh, whole sound so you really could have the physical dimensions of the hole were very yeah. clearly to see yeah with bukar it's a bit wider so the sound stage is is larger but it's more diffuse where the um yeah. the hole uh, it's more more precise with the audio yeah. yeah but both were very nice in depth in layering in and in, in imaging and placement of instruments in the um in the stereo image. i think even the bukars were a little bit more more precise with placing the instruments in the orchestra yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, can we agree that every um decent brand has a pair of loudspeakers in this price class yes i think yes. so yeah. yeah so it's really that's really competitive but well, that explains why so many brands have sent in uh, yeah. their uh bookshelf speakers yeah yep. yeah it was popular uh, because it's uh, yeah it was easy to fill up this test, uh, way, way too easy. Focal doesn't have one yet, but I can't say a lot about it. Uh, I mean, Vestia is uh, beneath it, but uh, um, Kanta is above it, but there will be something in between that is in this price range. Uh, okay. Um, Revel. Revel, yeah, beca because we already mentioned the whole system. We're playing on the Pass Labs Pre and Power Amp uh, and on the Nilai Power Amp. Uh, uh, the deck is a Sonnet Positea. We use the Mutec Reclocker. Uh, we have power conditioning made by Isotec, as always. Cabling is a mixture of Yeti, Grim, and uh, Triade. Mm -hmm. The speaker stands are not important because, yeah. Well, if you want to have a matching speaker stand, you I really advise you to buy the matching one because it's tuned to that speaker stand. But I didn't order it with the loudspeakers because then, well, I, I, I have nowhere to, s to place them. <laughs> <laughs> the room is filled with loudspeakers <laughs> behind this. Yeah. yeah, and now we have good comparisons. Uh, we have the same... Yeah, the same stand. Stand we have, we have I think, pucks on... Uh, yeah, it? small rubber uh, decoupler. <coughs> yeah, uh, so they're all the same. Yeah. Uh, we just test the speakers as such. Yeah. Yep. 
So, so, and uh, before the break, we had, uh, yeah, actually three Scandinavian, yeah, <laughs> bookshelf and speakers. Now we're going out of Scandinavia. And now we're going <laughs> across the ocean to yeah. Revel, America, Harmon Group, two point seven thousand euro. Yeah, that stands. Base reflex to uh, two way system, aluminum and aluminum, tweeter and woofer. Yeah. Um, With a very special waveguide for the tweeter, by the yeah. way. It's uh, important to mention it because uh, it's uh, really uh, something they focus on. Their waveguide is special. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah. Beethoven first. Beethoven first. Well, Beethoven seventh, but the first. so caught up in the music that you forgot yeah, it was helemaal, uh, wow this is really accurate <laughs> you you no, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not it wasn't yeah well hmm. my mind is still processing what i'm i've yeah. just heard um one it sounds much slower slower paced than the other speakers we heard so far yeah like i really have like i come on guys come on um so that's strange i i i'm, I'm still as, puzzled as, why as, wow. as if we are even you know with an audio we were 
in row 20 and now we're may maybe row 30. Yeah. Yeah, but but it, that that doesn't make it unpleasant. No, for me. no, 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 not I at all. But it's it's. It, I mean, my mind still yes. tries to understand yes, why yes. it sounds so I, yeah. much slower I was, than. Yeah, than I was other. just trying not to understand. You have to listen, and that was yeah. that was that was my brain told me just don't try to understand. Just listen yeah. to the music. Yeah. Just checking the face. Yeah. Why would oh, no? Um, the tonality in the cello and the violins was really nice with these speakers. Really, really, really nice. Um, so it didn't have any form of sharpness or no. metallic sheen on the violins, not at all. Um, so that was really nice. And yet, you know, I heard it play, and it was—it's like I heard a New York Philharmonic play with um, <laughs> with uh, Simon uh, Rattle. Uh, no, no, well, Rattle not Rattle with um, uh, what's the French <laughs> composer? Um, uh, dingers. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm older. My mind is sometimes <laughs> blown. Um, it, it 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 sounded like a different orchestra with a different yes. uh, uh, director. Yeah, it uh, very very baffling. And I agree. Uh, it did sound very different. Yeah. Um, larger hall. <laughs> yeah, larger hall. Well, the thing is with the imaging. I mean, the imaging of the orchestra was really nice. I mean the the, the layout of the yeah. orchestra was was there before you, but the hole wasn't there. So the hole mm. was more diffuse. It was a very nice image of an orchestra playing uh, with a lot of space around it. And that was also very nice. Um, but as a result of all this, <laughs> I thought that the coherence between the instruments was, was less. So I heard different instruments mm -hmm. playing, but I didn't feel it like it was a... A whole, an orchestra, like a, a, a one organism mm -hmm. uh, playing, uh, that was also different. But it's it's the tonality is so different from the other speakers. That's um, kind of getting used to. Yeah, it was as if the you know we know the orchestra actually is pretty small, but this sounds like it was Bigger. huge. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, memo hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm a really American speaker. You know, big. Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah, it's for me it's also very relaxing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, relaxed. It's, yeah, it's very relaxed. Yeah, it's very calm. It's very relaxing listening. Soothing. Yeah, soothing yes. listening.
Wow. Um, well, when the when the track started, I thought, well, uh, the piano is a grand piano. Mm -hmm. uh, suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, it's a different. I, I know it's a, it's not a grand piano. It's, it's a normal. It's an opera, an opera piano. piano yeah. uh, but it did sound like one. So that was funny. The saxophone was also d very dark colored. Yeah. Um, so the emphasis with the speakers is more on the lower end of the mid-tones than um, where the Scandinavian speakers all had an emphasis on the high end of the mid-tones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's a, that's a big difference. Very long reverb with yeah. the speakers. Uh, reverb uh, all over the place. Um, <laughs> but in a, in a in a good way. In a pleasant way, yeah, yeah. really. Uh, very clean. Uh, but uh, rounded sounded percussion. The high notes were all very rounded. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of details, but without uh, pushing the details. So you, it's a very relaxed, relaxed kind of listening. Yeah. But you hear everything. Um, it's a completely different signature of yeah, speakers. It's, it's and yeah. then all the, so I have really have it some time, need some time to, to get accustomed to the, yes. the, the, the the different sonic signature. Yeah. Yeah. But it's nice. It's really oh, good. Oh, you know, I remember when we heard the other Revels first, we had the same. Yeah. This is completely different from what we've heard before. Yes. In speak yeah. it's, and we had to get used to it a as well. Yeah, but it sounds, uh, what I remember, it sounds good on a lot of systems, even on cheaper amps. It still yeah. sounds great. And it's not really dependent on your acoustics. Uh, uh, I know the the M one hundred six BE uh, Jeffrey uses them. Yep. Uh, and in his room, with a lot of reverb in the room itself, it still sounds great. And so, uh, yeah, it's it's really more a kind of a projector of this because when you measured it, yeah, it, uh, uh, it's flat. On, only on the sweet spot, it was. I remember that that it, that it m the, the measurement was right on the sweet spot, but not on the. Well, the, yeah, back, uh, I didn't know. As much as I do now, do now back back then, um, the roll off is of course you always have roll off of high notes, uh, treble, but it's less due to the face. Uh, sorry, due to the <sighs> god damn um, uh, waveguide. Waveguide. Um, their waveguide is unique. It does something really good with the high notes. Waveguide. In tweeter. On a tweeter, yeah. yeah, it's really different from other loudspeakers. So, the off-axis response is different on this loudspeaker than with other loudspeakers that don't use a specific. And it's the the pattern in the waveguide yeah. that was. I th I don't you you we, shouldn't we measure, you measure we, it spot on. We wrote it down in our review. Uh, yeah. uh, of of the one hundred six B. On-axis response is different than a response on the couch. They tune it for listening. And uh, if you measure it on axis, it it m doesn't measure flat, but on on okay. the couch it does, uh, which is good, I think. You should tune a loudspeaker to a room in a listening position. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it's like um, they make a tunnel, yeah, of sound of sound to your ears, yeah, and uh, so it doesn't affect the listening, the li the, the the effect of the listening room isn't that isn't that great, okay, big, no. yeah, that that's nice. It's really nice. That's yeah. something you would really like every speaker to have, yeah. if possible. I think so. Yeah, it it will improve performance in a yep. normal room. Yeah, in a normal ha room in a living room. Yeah. Um, I'm what I I've uh, what I <coughs> I want to hear more. That's the the, the overall feeling uh, oh, when listening to this. Yeah, no, no, but, but just in terms of. Uh, listening more to the music, speaker, yeah. I want to listen to more music. Yeah, that's um, it's inviting. Yes, In, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. It's a very inviting speaker. Yep. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest and biased. <laughs> this is my sound. I do like it. Yeah, it's not my sound, but I do like it. <laughs> I know it's not your sound. No, it's not my sound. No. Uh, but, but you I both really like it. it I really like it. Yeah, it's very good. Every yeah. Revel I've heard up till now has the same signature and the same performance. Uh, but with the higher models, you get more resolution. Mm -hmm. I definitely hear that the BE models that Jeffrey owns have 
way more resolution, mm -hmm. but it's not lacking in this loudspeaker. No. It still lets you hear so much. Yep. Uh, I do like Revel. Yeah, yeah. But that's my opinion. It's it's a matter of taste. Um, let's plug in. Uh, the Neelai is connected now, so we can hear this track yep. on the Neelai. I'm I'm curious.
Okay. Okay. So. What I noticed, uh, you saw me yeah. making this movement all the time. If I listen this way or I sit here, yeah. the sound completely changes in in uh, how it sounds. Yeah. It's better if you sit here, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, off axis is more. Yeah. It's better. Uh, it's better. Is it is it too much when you're in in in? No, it 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 collapses. It sounds thinner and smaller. Okay. Like it's out out of phase. Because if it's yeah. thinner, and smaller, it it can be because Cancels then the projection the projection is. Uh, yep. Yeah. Is. Uh, I I I yeah. Hmm. So that was. Well, but it, with the Nila, it sounded more airy, yeah. Uh, yeah. lighter than with the the yeah. pass. So the saxophone sound was more up there, which I like better than with the pass labs. But um, in the aftertone, so if you, if you have a piano note and you have the reverb of the piano note, with the Nila, it was a bit wobbly. Yeah. Uh, with the pass, it was I, very I, clean. Actually, I, it was not very well audible the the, the aftertones or the the harmonics. Yeah. Uh, the I've, I've missed it. <laughs> yes, the saxophone was completely uh, drawing all the attention, and the piano yeah. falling back in the in the in the mix, yes. where normally those are equal uh, mm -hmm. on equal footing. Yeah. Um, very different than with the pass labs. I think the pass labs is a better match for the speakers than the Nilai. Both Americans or Canadian. Um, <laughs> so that 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 for me that was clear. Um, but the color of the the sound color of the saxophone was was more balanced than with the pass lab. So they're give and takes. Um, someone's asking Jung, how f focused was the center image for you? I didn't. Uh, I didn't do this. No. But was it? How, did how you focused it? was? <laughs> well, it, it the sound is still farther away than than the, the other loudspeakers yeah. we've heard yeah. before yeah so i think that gives it, it's a, a, a kind of soothness that that's even with the nilai it's it's farther away yeah and um so it's it's completely different i still yeah. have to get used to the to it's, a, it's a very different way of listening yeah. than with the other speakers. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's like it's more ambient. It's yes. like more more the uh, yeah uh, nice to listen to. It's less and focused. Um, but it's yeah. also different than the 106 B, which is a different tweeter and different. We yeah, it's really different it's from <laughs> the BE. Yeah, the BE is more airy. Yeah. So it, it, it is faster. more. Uh, yeah, it's definitely faster than this one. Uh, this is. I think they found a really nice compromise uh, in smoothness, relaxed sound. You can listen for hours to this loudspeaker yeah. without getting tired. Yeah. Uh, the speaker, ma uh, the sorry, the, the amplif amplifier matching isn't that critical. I don't think that it was a huge difference. No. I think the Nila is still more rhythmic, but also more dry than the pass labs. Yep. Uh, you can hear it in the in the uh, harmonics the pass laps is definitely more wet sounding and lets you hear more harmonics than the Nilai, uh, which is not odd considering the price but the reverb was different with the Nilai. yeah yeah it is with the pass yeah. in it was you know almost indefinite <laughs> yes uh, and here it, it's so it's it's still puzzling how that can be because yeah the I think the difference, well, the difference is, is the difference is different. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is different. Ah. <laughs> Someone it's, it's is saying, um, uh, I have to uh, comment on that. Um, the ATC SCM19 is still the reference in this class. I think that's a very dangerous thing. Bold to statement. Say, and r a really bold statement because it really matters on what you are looking for. Like this loudspeaker is completely different from the Din Audio. Yes. What is a reference? We we, we try not to uh, to make rankings. We try to share with you what we hear, hear don't hear, uh, yeah. if, if, what's if, emphasized or not, uh, because it's you know it so much matters on your taste, yes. on, on music you play, on your room, etc. So yeah. we we try to stay far away from better, better, best. 
yeah. reference. And um, it's a nice loudspeaker, but it's also really hard to drive. So ADC, yeah, ADC, yeah, yeah. notoriously bad, to dr uh, difficult to drive. Yeah, I bought the active ones because I'm not, I'm not gonna search for an amplifier <laughs> for a year yeah. that matches. Uh, but, but yeah, let's. If if we're, I mean, in terms of how the sound is coming to you, this is so different from the other three. So it's very hard to make a comparison in that sense. Yes. Um, and then to talk about in terms of better or worse, it's it's difficult because it's so different kind of sound signature. So if you are looking for this kind of sound, then you wouldn't pick. Um, I don't know the Bukar over this one because oh, this the is more your, yeah, yeah. your sound. Um, yeah. it would you would you call it warm? I, I think it's warm. Yeah. It's a little bit warm. It's very warm. Yeah. Well, very. Yeah. To me, it's very warm. Okay. I sounding. think it's a, it, in the piano it, notes. It's it's for me. It's very warm sounding. It piano. it is warm. I agree. Yeah. And also with the um, with this speaker, the um, the saxophone. Uh, the balance between the reed and uh, the metal sounding, it was more reed yeah. than metal. Yeah, it's too bad uh, the Yamaha isn't there anymore, because I think <laughs> it would match very good with the Yamaha. I, I sold the Yamaha for the Neela, Jung. Come on. I know. Yeah, I, I, I don't have... <laughs> I can't have no, both. I'm just saying, I'm no, just... No, no, no. It's, it's yeah. not <laughs> but I think the Yamaha was a very neutral amplifier. It is, yes. Uh, it is a beautiful price amplifier. Price-wise... Uh, really, uh, really good. I think it would match. I think the revels with the Yamaha... Yeah, it would be very nice. I, 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 yeah, I agree. I agree. The Rioma, what's yeah. it? Uh, 1200? 2200. 2200. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's around three and a half thousand euros. So it matches the loudspeaker pretty well in, in terms of price. And yeah, it's a very nice amplifier. I think that's a good yeah. combo. Yeah. Yeah. Warm, that's that's right? what we're trying yeah. to share with you, you know, the all the. The different things. The diff yeah. Because this speaker is warm ish. Yeah. But it's very pleasant. And so you have to look for. So don't buy a tube with this one because it no. will be way, way, way too much. I still feel, still, uh, even after hearing this for the second time, I still feel I need to hear this track a few more times um, to understand what the speaker is doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. The the Bucard had a. Um, I'm looking at why it is warm because the frequency response is pretty flat, but the harmonic distortion is is. Uh, Completely different from the Bucard. Mm. I think the Bucard is more neutral or drier in the bass than yep. this one. Yes. And it has a third harmonic in the bass. Mm -hmm. And the Revel has a second, which mm. is warmly tuned, more warm than uh, a third. Yep. So that that's odd. Mm. Yeah, that's funny. See? Uh, th th it's a design choice. I it is. The yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because you can tune the pipe. Yeah. Uh, last track. Yep. No, I'm, I'm curious. What, what, what <laughs> yeah, I, I'm <laughs> definitely. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah. What, what do think you expect? What, what I expect? I expect a, a very big sounding, yeah, thundering, wobbly, thundering, thundering presentation. Yeah. Ace to the bass. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. go.
<laughs> okay. I like it. Come on. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come it's, on. It's 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 big. It's blustering. It's, yes. It's it's like it's very ambient. Larger than life. Larger than life. There's something with the face, indeed, because I mean the ambient kind of sound that you get and uh, the effects in the sound stage. It's all over. It's all over the place. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's impressive. It's, 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 it's huge. It's. <laughs> I mean, if this were speakers that you use with uh, a movie, uh, uh, a surround set, then, yeah. then you really get an experience. Make audio great again. Yeah. 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 But high five. It's going to be, be great, fun. right? Got, this is, yeah. this is yeah. fun. This, yeah. this is a fun loudspeaker to listen to. Yes. I understand. Now I understand why Jeffrey, when we were yeah. listening here and the, with the Dewey the um, uh, amplifier test, yeah. that he said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking some bass. That yeah. was his continuous call. <laughs> Continuous he's comment. A, he's a raffle guy. Yeah. Now I know. Now I understand yeah. why yeah. he was missing bass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is really <laughs> impressive, but the bass is still controlled. It's, it's amazing how fast it. I think, it's to be very honest, controlled. It, yeah. I really enjoyed this track. Yes. The, the first ones, as uh, the first, you know, three, okay, well, nice. Yeah. But now I thought, this is a nice track. It's yes. really, it's. Yeah. yeah. I miss all the details in the, <laughs> in the mix, though. The yeah. piano is it, gone, you know, the guitar thing who cares? That do is gone, everything <laughs> yeah, is gone, gone in the yeah, mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. who uh, cares? Who cares? Yeah. Who, you know, the, something about Revel, it's, uh, it's, it's a fun brand. They also have an Extreme Climate series, which we, you can uh, do, you can, uh, they have stuff that are, you know, like uh, lamp posts yeah. and uh, with LED and speakers. Yeah. And they have a burial speaker with a subwoofer. Yeah. You bury underground, they have a small pipe. And you, then you have <laughs> your sub in your garden, in a way. <laughs> and they also they make uh, a speakers for Lincoln. Lincoln is a brand you cannot yeah. get in 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 Europe. Uh, the car. But Lincoln is like you know uh, our garages are as big as a Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> and they make speakers uh, custom made for Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, explains yeah. all, I think. And so if if you're sitting in your car <laughs> and you play music, then your whole car yeah, is vibrating yeah. because of the Revel speakers. Yeah. <laughs> No, it 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 was very controlled. I was and amazed. It was at the fun, moment. you it know. Was fun I, it and was controlled. Fun, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, it's nice to have have these choices, I yes. guess. And it's w when you talk about a brand that fits the country, I think we here we have <laughs> yeah. one. But but the nice thing is you can you can you. I mean, I can imagine if you have these speakers and you sit on the couch with a good glass of wine or a beer. Yeah, or a just party. Or a party, and you're relaxing, and you're just listening to music without thinking. Then these speakers are great. Yeah. 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 And I think uh, the, 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 the series above are more analytic or more, you yeah. know, you have more audiophile, but these ones are, yeah, are fun, fun speakers. Fun, really fun, fun. And, uh, they also have subwoofers in case you need it. You have, if, if you want more <laughs> bass, if you need more bass, even can, more bass, then you can. But we we like Revel. I think we have, and especially Jeff likes Revel. Yeah, Revel. Uh, I don't know. Do you think you could listen to it all day? Yeah, you can listen to this all day, because it's not uh, it's not aggressive or in your That's face, true. and it's not unpleasant. It's not unpleasant. You don't have to. Uh, you don't need to concentrate to listen. You can just let it wash over you. The sound. Yeah, yeah. So that's, I mean, if I had to listen to this day in and day out, I would long for other sounds at, at some point because it's not the kind of sound that I'm looking for. And if I'm listening to, with the orchestra, it was fine, by the way. So I listened to a lot of classical music and. Yeah, uh, that's, that's fine. But the orchestra, it was really great. So I wouldn't mind. I mean, I, I'm imagining the, the Mahler, um, the Mahler symphonies. I have several box sets. Just <laughs> listen to them all, all the box sets on the Revels. Yeah. It must be a joy. Uh. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So, but everything becomes big. Indeed, the piano is, <laughs> it becomes the grand, pia grand piano instead of an upright piano. Yes. We need to. Hey. The oh. lights are off again. I thought we were listening mono. <laughs> So now, on to the last one. Uh, we're going to Aurum Comptus 
V2M, they are the most price friendly of the bunch. 1600 euro, so that means 800 mm. a piece without stands. A ribbon tweeter, the first ribbon we have today. Okay. Um, two way, yes, base reflex. Um, let's, oh, it had 15 hertz, so according to the specs, uh, the least base heavy uh, one. And I'm, th oh, or I'm content, where, where, where does it come from? Yeah, do you know that? China. China. Yeah. High end shop. I don't know that much about the brand, do you? I know nothing about the brand. Me neither. So, I'm just reading from the internet. Yeah. Uh, it was founded in 1994, and uh, indeed it's from China. Um, and they, 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 they look nice, the speakers. You know, yeah. they have floor standing speakers. Uh, they only make speakers. Uh, And uh, they all always use uh, ribbon tweeters. I can let spell with Jesus. Sorry, I have to uh, just read from from what I see here. Uh, they have uh, uh, all sorts of models. Four standing. Yeah. Yes, they do. They have a lot of models, and they only do ribbons. Okay. No, no, I'm asking you. I, I yeah, <laughs> they do. They do. They do. Yep. But it's uh, a dazzling amount of models uh, they have. <laughs> but maybe we can say something about uh, China creating better and better products. Because it is true, actually. Yeah. I mean, we tested uh, some stuff from Jay's Audio, which is affiliate, sorry, from LHY, which is an affiliate from Jay's Audio yeah. in China. But Jay's Audio already yeah, was stuff. was already um, highly regarded, and uh, LHY yeah. is also um, yeah. good stuff. So yeah. And I, uh, for my band, I use in-ear speakers, uh, monitors, which are... Also, I will, we will review one uh, of the brand uh, shortly, and it's amazing uh, how how good these in ears are for for the money. And uh, let's say below hundred euros a pair for. And and they look, they look nice if you look at the websites. You know the magic flute. It's <laughs> the wooden. Magic flute. Yeah. I hope to see them in uh, Munich, because they also have these. These big speakers that remind us of the the Goebel uh, loudspeakers. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna yep. fix this. Sensitive. It's a ribbon tweeter. Yeah, okay. okay. yeah ribbons are a little bit harder. 67? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really they show it pretty high up. 70. The, the ding on of ribbons is Yeah. Sensitivity is low. 
Yeah, it's 87. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Thanks. Okay. Beethoven. Okay. Yeah, sorry, the, the swaps take some time, but I really want to do this correct. Otherwise, you get a completely no, different uh, experience. Don't have to say sorry, we're just testing as we do. And this is, yeah, okay. This is, yeah, this is what we do. Yeah, but I, I, you know, it takes time. Yeah, it takes right. time. Ready? Ready. Cool. Go. Go. Shall we do the, the next one? Oh no, we're not. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. yet. Not yet. Um, very different from the previous. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's so my brain is. Um, yeah, my brain is also processing what you had with the revels I'm having now. Like, wow, there were some really good <laughs> things and some and not so good things. Yeah, and some things are like, hmm, I'm not sure. It has a very smooth sound. Yeah, it's a very smooth, smooth. Um, it's a bit smooth that sound. That's maybe the ribbon. I don't know. Well, no ribbons are mostly not really no, smooth. No, not smooth. But oh. Very direct in your face. But that's the whole point. It's not in your face. face. No. So they did something really nice <laughs> with the ribbon. Although I still, and that's the hard thing of implementing a ribbon with a dynamic driver. Yeah. The connection between high On and mid. On the crossover. 
The mids uh, uh, up to now oh. are not very impressive. Yeah. The mid range, but can can be different with a another amp or another uh, tunes we are listening to. There was a lot of emphasis on the uh, when the violins yeah. and, the, and the bass and the celli are uh, attacking the the snares. Yeah. So the attack on the snare is very. Vroom. 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 Yeah. Vroom. Vroom. Exactly. Yeah. Boom. Yes. Um, and uh, the in, in the stereo image, the placing of the instruments in the stereo image is a little bit diffuse. It's yeah, not but that's very you have to be in the center with a ribbon. Okay. It was better when I moved here. That yeah, it was it okay. was spot on. I did a whole uh, the spread of the the uh, high notes are like a beam. Okay. And with a ribbon, it's even worse. Then I'll try with the memo hands to see. Yeah, yeah, you have to there's a huge difference okay. between b being in the middle and, and you guys can all hear what it's supposed to be like because it's calibrated. In the middle. Yeah. Uh, for us, it's hard. <laughs> Jung is getting tired. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a few more tracks, are Jung. Memo Where's hands. Uh, one second. I have to switch. Uh, yeah. Oh, ah, come on. Yeah, memo, memo hands. Go. go.
Yes. I'm going to swap the amps. Yep. It sounded very loud, though I the pink noise was on 67. It's really odd. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've seen it. Yeah. It was calibrated, but um, maybe because of the beam forming of a ribbon, it pretty much distributed all the energy above the mic. Maybe, maybe. yeah. <laughs> Th that could it be. It was definitely louder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, I wrote down, I was puzzling in my head for what, what I'm listening to and what do I hear, but I think I can summarize it as it's like everything is put under a magnifying glass. Yeah. Yeah. Everything it's is not so refined. Out. It's not so refined. No. I think, yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, it's almost 1,000 euros price difference. Yeah, it's it's not so fair to, to compare it because it's, it, it, I think it's suitable in the category 1,000, 12, 13, you know? Yep. It is one category lower, if we have to be honest. And in that respect, I would say, okay, good speaker. Yeah. Nice uh, off-hacking. Finish. 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 Yeah. Nice design. But in the 2000 plus category we are reviewing right now, no, it doesn't. Compete. It doesn't compete. It doesn't. No. no. So it's not well, fair. In that sense, it, it's good it, to, to. It shows you oh. what a thousand euros extra does. Yeah. The, yeah. the Revel is 27. This is 16. That's a lot of difference. You can buy a pair of speaker uh, stands or a really good pair of speaker cables for that kind of money. I think. Uh, they 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 must have speaker but maybe the distributor didn't have it in that price tag no not really he said yeah i have the v2m uh he didn't have a 2500 euro version but i have to admit it it i'm missing some refinement now yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of in your face for me some say um some some guys said yeah you know proac pro proac pro yeah proac <laughs> yeah yeah famous um, english um. yeah they use a lot of ribbons as well mm -hmm. uh, jeffrey reviewed a pair of proacs and he really liked them uh, yeah you know some brands just know how to use a ribbon and audio yeah, vector audio vector uses a ribbon yep. uh, dali has the hybrid tweeter uh, and i can name a few that really mastered the uh, the ribbon technology in in i like the sound overall it's better than i thought it's way more relaxed than i thought yep but for me it's still treble and bass mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah no yeah. no yeah well I, yeah i can imagine you saying that yeah i'm, it's I'm it's right on axis yeah. so. it's also like the di the dynamic uh, so the dynamics in the music is more brought together. So yeah. the, the yeah. difference between the, the 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 loud and the soft passages yeah. is, is much smaller than with the other speakers. Yeah. No, there's no there's not the detailing is much less than what yeah. we've heard before. Yep. Yeah. But let's see because the pause lapse is also uh, like you say a yeah. magnifying yeah. glass. Yeah. For everything that can go wrong in the loudspeaker. <laughs> so let's try let's the with an the delay.
Good. That it was a lot better. That was a lot better match. No, did you notice that I didn't change the no. uh, volume? Oh, sorry. Martijn. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you didn't change the volume. I didn't change the volume and it sounded as loud. Yeah. Um, yeah. But in a more balanced way. Yeah, more controlled. More way controlled. better controlled. Um, so I was, I'm wondering, I don't know if that's possible, but it's something with the gain of the uh, speakers. Speakers. And no, there's no gain, but what I think is, well, ribbons are really hard to yeah. implement well. Mm -hmm. They distort pretty easily mm -hmm. if you don't use the right ribbon or the right crossover or anything like that. I'll show it in the measurements. It's not a really clean loudspeaker in terms of measurements. Mm -hmm. The pass uh, uh, emphasizes, magnifies every mistake in the loudspeaker. That's what we noticed before. Yep. It's, it's not ruthless. It's ruthless. It's not a forgiving. There's no correction. Uh, not as the, the benchmark. Also. No, the, the, the benchmark is the other way around. It's really easy to match. It, it yeah, but the benchmark correct. You know, we remember yeah, with the F there was one driver missing or not. Uh, something. Well, it distorted the driver. And it it, it, it corrected on that <laughs> very channel. So no, it was I'm not kidding. It has forward correction. We didn't hear anything. It showed in the measurements, but you couldn't hear so it. It says, "Hey, are you destroying?" Okay, then we'll put you some. Yeah, um, but it, it, it <laughs> did something, and it, it relax. Was, it was okay. The pass laps is nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, I think the Nilai is way more forgiving on a yep. loudspeaker. Yeah, and it matched actually pretty well. It uh, matched really well nice. because one of the things that I liked about this speaker, even though it's not the best of what we heard so far, but uh, given its price. Um, certainly, the balance between the instruments was nice. Yeah. And the bass was... I, mean, I, I like the bass. The, 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 the yeah. Uh, fast enough. Yeah, the, the, the bass is surprisingly deep. Yeah. I didn't miss... Deep and fast. I yep. didn't miss any bass. And uh, the, the what what I didn't like uh, with the pass laps, the uh, every th attack on in the transient, which was no. em emphasized, that was gone here. So it's... Mm. Much more pleasant to listen to, without <coughs> uh, without slowing down. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I have <coughs> <coughs> ah. yeah. Take a sip. Uh. Yeah. Um, okay. Someone said uh, <coughs> a ribbon is a perfect resistive load. Well, we measured also impedance <coughs> on the loudspeakers, and there's definitely a swing uh, in the impedance. So. I don't know what they did, but it's not flat at all. <laughs> no loudspeakers flat, by the way. No. Uh, nothing. Uh, except for the TADs in the back. <laughs> but they are like 40 grand. And they are pretty much flat, but they compensate for it. Only the earth is flat. Only the earth is flat. <laughs> 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 don't say that, man. No. Okay. Um, last track? Last track. And then we're yep. going to conclude, because yep. it's been a long stream. A very long stream, yeah. And I'm getting tired. So... Yep. Uh, yeah. So, Mia, missing in action. Okay, let's go. go.
Well, that was not bad at all. Uh, no, it was actually pretty good. <laughs> it was really good, actually, because um, the whole mix, uh, the effects in the mix were very audible. The piano sustain was there. Yeah. The effects with the guitar notes uh, were there. Um, it's it's a little bit warm in the uh, mix yeah. and the bass. So yeah. it's tuned um, pretty warm. So that's taste. Um, and the drive was still there in the in the pulse of the music. So it's yeah, but it lacked some energy. It lacked some yeah, energy. Yeah, but because we had heard the Revels before. Yeah. yeah. It had way more drive. Yeah. Yeah. It, the Revel was it's a fun. thousand euro difference. Yeah, so I think you know for the money, it's it's good. It's, it's good, good for the money. I'm impressed, really. Yeah, it, it did really well with the Nilai. And to be honest, if with the Nilai and these speakers, and I play this kind of music a lot, yeah, I prefer fine. this combination. Yeah, for Definitely. thousand really a thousand the euros. Revel. Yeah. Oh wow! Because um, okay. that was that was impressive and that was fun. Yeah. But. Everything in the mix was gone, and here, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And here, I hear that the things which are in the mix, which are there, with on, on purpose, yeah. because this is very carefully mixed uh, track, um, and it's there. So if I have to trade that off, then I and also the price difference. If you would pay a thousand less, that's uh, a good deal then. Yep. Okay. 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 Um, uh, how are we going to conclude? How are we going to conclude? Well, we have uh, 12 <laughs> more to go. No, not 12. Eight more to go, I think. Eight, yeah. Eight more to I'm go. I'm not going to share all the measurements in this live stream. I'm no. sorry. I, no. I have to... No, just read, uh, read, read the review. review. Uh, I'll uh, put them in the in the review part one, because otherwise I'll be not yet... I'll be finished in 30 <laughs> minutes or something. And Yeah. Uh, let, let's just say five loudspeaker pairs... Five very different sound signatures. Absolutely, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One conclusion is that it depends, really depends on the country, yeah. the region where it comes from. It's yes. really, you know, the Scandinavian sound. The yeah. Scandinavians are totally different from the the American Revel, and yeah. the Chinese is, let's say, middle of the road. So it doesn't make really ch m much choices. Yep. And that that that. Um, that, that that's true. Yeah, it, it stays. It chooses the middle way, and yep. that's middle. I can, road. and that's not meant uh, negatively. I think no. they just say, they okay, play it safe. Yeah, because well, it's it's. They, I think it's one of the few brands in this league because they. I think they have expensive ones, so they're they're they they try to find their way into the high end realm. Yeah. And then I can imagine that, th that they stay on the safe side. They're not very neutral or analytic. They're not very warm like the Revels. It's just... Yeah. I think you're spot on. They play it safe. They want to enter the European market Western. for... Western market Western. for high end. A and they can't be too different. No. Otherwise they won't be accepted. Well, that's, that's yeah. the, 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 the Western centric point. If we turn it around, <laughs> because China is a huge country, huge. <laughs> um, uh, maybe this is a sound that the people, the the consumers in 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 China, which is uh, significant already, yeah, um, uh, prefer also. Could be in the uh, yeah, because yeah. what what when you're in Asia and you listen when you're in the shopping malls or so, the the sound is pretty bass heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, really. Yes. Okay, okay. Cool. I, I, I wouldn't not expect very, that. Not very subtle. But okay, the most thing you hear in public is karaoke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, different. <laughs> but yeah. and, and the mo uh, uh, because they're, they're uh, uh, especially in Asia or Hong Kong or Japan, the, yeah. the apartments are so small, they, perf they mostly have personal audio. So. Yeah. Yeah. They have you can buy every headphone that's available here yeah. for the oh, same price. Plus but you, you have this great um, website from Hong Kong from audio uh, audiophile audiophiles in Hong Kong yeah. who have like huge systems in very <laughs> yeah, tiny yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's it's hilarious to I've yes. seen a pair that's of yeah. Kev muons. I mean they're huge. Yeah. Uh, in a room this size yeah yeah yeah. 
It's I've, I've been raised. And then, you know, two monoblocks or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in Hong Kong a few times. So, uh, I, I, yes. oh, really? it's crazy. But that's yeah. a very small, uh, you know, that, that's not a mass. No, 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 no. Of course not. So, concluding, I think, uh, well, this is part one of, yeah. the, uh, part of the three parts. We're going have to have to do this. Um, or we're we're going to do this. Not have to do this. Uh, we're we're going like to this. do this. Yeah. We're going to do this. Um, matching of speakers and amplifiers matter. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I think we've proven that. Uh, yeah. I think there's a lot of um, differences to be found within this price range. Yeah. And there's also, also a lot of quality to be found in this price range. Uh, to keep this um, structured for all you guys, I think we should describe the sound of every loudspeaker in the, in the big test. Yep. Uh, I think there's going to be three parts. Yep. This is part one. Two is in two weeks, I think, and three in four weeks. Mm -hmm. If all figured out, because they have to, we all have to have time. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah. it's going to be a kind of a puzzle, but it's not important what we think is a winner. No. It's important what you like and you choose a loudspeaker that fits your needs and your room yeah. and your music. Um, Especially your room. It has to fit your, fit your room also. Yeah. So if I say I like a Revel, that's my taste. They're all good loudspeakers. I measured them all. They're all fine. Technically, they're all good. Uh, but it's what you would like as a... Uh, w what sound you are looking for. It's just like with an amplifier. Hegel has a very different sound than, I don't know, Nilay or uh, Arkham. Both are, good uh, both are good amplifiers, though, and the match with the loudspeaker. I mean, the pulse labs match doesn't match with this loudspeaker. Nope. It's it's not a no. very friendly nope. sound. They're both good. Yep. So that I think that's really important to point out. Um, winner of the prize quality. I don't know. Well, we just thought that we're not going to say who's winners. No, who are winners. It's not. I, I don't know. But bang for the buck, I think this is good bang for the buck. Definitely, yeah. Um, and I think that the... The bonus, the, the, the arm counters, yeah. yeah. And I th also think that... Um, what are the prices again of the other ones? Um, <laughs> I think the uh, Din Audios are also very much uh, bang for the buck. Uh, bang for the buck. Bang for the buck. Bang for the buck, yeah. Well, Bucard is only 50 bucks more mm. expensive. Yeah, but... Then I think the Dean Audio just gives yeah. you a little more in terms of the uh, dynamics dynamics yeah. of the speaker yeah. because yeah. that's that's really nice, um, uh, the way they handle the, um, uh, the the details versus the depth in the sound stage. It was more detailed. Yeah. 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 True. So you get a little bit more of it, but then again, it's taste. If you if you say, oh, I like the Bucards better for um, fifty euros more <laughs> or less, or less <laughs> even. The whole um, thing is we didn't have a bad loudspeaker. No. <laughs> no. Not at all. Not at all. They're all good. This yeah. is just very different, but it's a thousand euros less expensive. Yeah. And it sounds great on the Nilai, which is yeah. cheaper than the Pass Lab. So yeah. <laughs> it's actually a really good deal. So it's just yeah. just life is complicated. It's yeah. complicated, yeah. But fun. So see you in two weeks probably. Yeah. For I hope the so. Next part, next uh, for me, the yeah, test. in two weeks' time. But like I said, we all have to make uh we have to check our schedules you have to check our schedules and have a free sunday for you uh and i'm gonna s I, I i promise to say it only twice we do this test completely we for free uh no one is paying for these tests to uh enter it so we need your support enabled to be doing this uh, and for so lunch yeah and for lunch so you can support us on patreon I'll put the link in the description and in the chat right now. So please. Because when you're also with the Patreons, we, you set out a poll yep. uh, on what you think we should test the next time. Yeah. Um, so you're really in, in the cockpit when you are uh, yeah, you or more in the cockpit. You decide with us which, yeah. the, uh, which well, devices we're going to test next. Uh, you have free access to a lot of uh, lossless samples, measurements you can check and download. And you have uh, to, you have uh, two weeks ahead of the publication date. Yeah. You can uh, you have access to the reviews. Yeah, in in some 
so, some reviews. Not all. Yeah, but it will be more and more and more. Yeah, we, we, we and make multi, premium Especially content. multi tests, which, which are very yeah, time consuming. consuming. Yeah. And we decided to. Uh, make them Patreon only. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. It's You're, what you also see more in the media that, that there's that there are paywalls, we try to avoid it as much as possible, but uh, hey, uh, nothing is for free. The electricity bill for the past labs has to be paid from something. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so please consider supporting well, us. It will help us to make these. But most uh, important things. of all, support a platform that actually reviews independently mm -hmm. yep. and completely transparent uh, for you guys. Yep, uh, that's true. Of course, we like to do it, but it's also important that uh, press is supported uh, in order to be free press free press yeah well thank you for watching today i'm yes. gonna end uh, the stream and we are gonna enjoy the rest of our sundays, sundays. Uh, okay which is not I very think it's long nice weather it's supposed to be yeah, uh, sunny <laughs> somewhere okay see bye you bye. guys ciao bye bye, -bye.